because I want to bring in the judge. All rise. <laughs> judge Andrew Napolitano, I know you don't agree with the things that were said, but you think Colbert has the right to say it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, this is satire. The, 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 uh, uh, is it broad, always satire the... if someone says, I'm a comedian? I mean, can they get away with everything? Because I feel like that's a crutch sometimes and to, to do things or say things that other people can't get away with. You can get away with almost anything in satire, even that which is obviously uh, untrue. He's not portraying it to be truthful. He's portraying it to try and make you laugh. I thought it was boring. It didn't make me laugh, but that's just me. And of course, I was asleep when it was on. I had to watch the next day, like uh, like the rest of us. But but this this is uh, this is what he does for a living. James is right. The marketplace will decide whether or not they like it. But the thought of firing him, that's a choice for his, uh, his bosses. I don't think this is a fireable offense, but I'm, I'm not among his bosses. But looking at it from a constitutional perspective, it is 100% Protected speech. And if you the don't like purpose, it, yeah, change the like channel. Change the channel. Right. The whole purpose of the First Let's Amendment, change the channel. Supreme yeah. Court has said hundreds of times, is to encourage and protect open, wide, robust. Justice Douglas even once said vicious speech right. about so, the people so, that so run So Billy the Bush got fired for laughing at uh, something that was crude. This guy, who knows, James, he might increase his audience in this country these days. Let's leave it there for a moment because we got break.